On the 6th of February 1975, a nation renowned for its breathtaking beauty in the Indian Ocean, the island of Mauritius, was transformed into a war zone by a storm whose name would become synonymous with devastation, Cyclone Gervais. In early February, Gervais began as a typical tropical disturbance. But as it moved west, it rapidly intensified, becoming a powerful tropical cyclone. Unlike many storms that skirt the island, Gervais took a direct, catastrophic path, passing directly over the heart of Mauritius. The island's meteorological services, though they issued warnings, could not have prepared the population for the sheer ferocity of the winds that were about to hit. On February 6, the storm's eyewall hammered Mauritius. For hours, the island was subjected to unimaginable winds, with gusts reaching a staggering 174 miles per hour, 280 kilometers per hour. This remains the highest wind gust ever recorded in Mauritius. The island's infrastructure, homes, and vital sugarcane crops were simply not built to withstand such a brutal assault. The capital, Port Louis, was brought to a standstill as roofs were ripped off, windows shattered, and telephone poles were snapped like twigs. When the winds finally subsided, the scene was one of total devastation. Gervais left behind a horrific toll, 10 people were killed, and the island suffered an estimated $200 million in damage, equivalent to over $1 billion today. The island's economy, heavily reliant on sugarcane, was crippled as the crops were completely wiped out. But Gervais's legacy goes beyond the destruction. It served as a brutal wake-up call for Mauritius. In the storm's aftermath, the government implemented stricter building codes and invested heavily in improving its weather forecasting and warning systems. The island learned that even in a tropical paradise, disaster preparedness is not a luxury, but a necessity. Cyclone Gervais's story is a powerful lesson in resilience. It's a reminder that while we can't stop the forces of nature, we can learn from them to build a stronger, more prepared society. This has been another episode of Weather Follower, Disasters Rewound. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.